All right, so today we wanted to talk about how to make a long distance relationship work because she was stuck in the Philippines for quite some time. So we were separated from each other for a lot longer than we expected. And I know a lot of, a lot of people based on the comments that I'm getting are, are still separated. So there's definitely a lot of people out there that are not with their loved ones and they're you know, hoping to get back to each other soon and they're in a long distance relationship. I'm not going to say this is the most important thing because I think there's, you know, 10 things and, and all of them are equally as important. You can't just skip any of them. So I think they're all important. But I would definitely say time. You, you have to give each other time. You can't go days without talking to each other. If there's a, you know, time difference then obviously you're going to go hours or a while without talking to each other but you have to make time for each other every day you know even if you're both busy whether it's school and work and you're just texting back and forth for a little while you know i think it's very important yes for me time is very important especially when um you're in long distance relationship because um this make you um feel special and it always give you a uh, connection or what's yeah that? if you don't make time for the person they're not going to feel wanted or, yeah. or loved or, or needed i or mean all the things important. that so you require that's in a relationship. very that's why every morning when i walk up i always text him even a simple message good morning so it's no, no. I mean, simple things like good morning, good night. Yeah. I mean, those aren't the things you want to you forget. And, and don't get me wrong. I'm sure there was a couple of times one of us like fell asleep on ox an accident because we were like texting on the couch or watching a movie. But I mean, you want to make sure to say good morning to the person and, and good night. So you, they know that you were thinking about them when they went to bed. And first thing yeah. when they wake up, they see something from you some type of text whether it's a heart or a, or a kissy face or a, uh, saying i miss your butt i mean <laughs> s s something like that <laughs> yeah, yeah it, right. it's important just so they know that you were thinking about them so number two is updates or communication for me it's yeah it's one of the most important when you are far from each other by giving him an update so I always give him where I'll update what I'm doing or where I am going or this what about so he knows that what I'm doing like <laughs> well, it's it's not about like tracking each other because of a trust issue it's um you know I tell her hey I'm going to the gym or hey I'm driving to work or uh, I got a doctor's appointment or, or anything like that just so they feel more connected like they're part of your life because otherwise you do five events in the day and, and you don't tell the person then you know six months go by and they don't feel like they're as connected because they don't know what you do mm -hmm. so that's why it's good to just tell each other i mean i would send her a video even from grocery shopping or, or anything like that just here's what i'm doing and you know she'd tell me what she's doing so it also helps neither person to worry mm -hmm. yeah it really helps so I'm not worried about you or he's not worried about you. <laughs> okay, so we think next is uh, honesty. You can call it loyalty, you can call it whatever you want, but you want to make sure to be honest with your partner. Uh, I can't stress that enough. I mean, even the little things, because you don't want them, you know, questioning something or worrying about something when you're completely in love with the person and you just explained it wrong or something. So you want to make sure to always be honest with them. And sometimes it might not be something they like, but you'd rather just be honest with them so then they know who you really are and they stay attached to you and they'll appreciate you telling them the truth no matter what it is. Yeah, for me, yes, um, honesty is very important in a relationship. We all know that because that's the only way the relationship work. If you're honest and he wouldn't think anything, even your very far from each other and then and there's no doubt so all what you said or all what i going to say or text him so he's gonna believe me so he's not worried about all about yeah. it yeah i mean we unfortunately we were separated from 
was the last day of November. I think it was, yeah, the last day of November. And then we are separated up until the middle of August, which we did not expect. We thought we'd be back together, you know, 1st of March. So it's really important to just be honest with each other and tell each other what's going on and, and stuff like that. Because you, you don't want your partner worrying when it's been months and you haven't seen them. Because yeah. you, you'll get overtired or you'll get stressed out and you'll start to worry and, and you shouldn't. Uh, for me, I think important important thing, and it's not something you're going to do every week or all the time, but some type of little surprise gift or, or a present. I mean, it doesn't need to be anything big, but anything to make the other person know that you really you thought about them and, and you went out of your way to do something just to make them smile. I think that's really important. I mean, I sent her a present one time and I still watch this video to the day because I sent her a little gift and it wasn't anything crazy. It was um, a little teddy bear. Actually, I think it was a little hedgehog, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it was a stuffed hedgehog and a, a nice card and like candy for your family and like coffee. Yeah. But still, when she woke up, she had that gift and, she, you know, it, it made her cry because I went out of the way to go to Target and buy all the things and put it in a box so it wouldn't break or anything like that. And not the stuffed animal that shouldn't break. But, you know, the whole point was is that I, you know, you go out of your way a little bit to do something for the person. Yeah, I really love that when he surprised me with that. So my family is like, um, what, surprised me. I was still on my bed and, of course, they had video on that. So... I was just shocked. Um, yeah. So yes, I love that. So I was more um, um, touched when he sent me the card. So I because I love, I love cards. I love when he wrote something. So I'm very touched with that and and very happy with it. So it's very surprised. And yeah, those are the things. I mean, not all guys are sentimental, but she kept the stuffed animal and you know she kept the card of course so every yeah. time she would see it she would smile and that makes me happy because then i know i'm i'm doing a good job at trying to be a supportive and loving husband mm -hmm. even from a distance okay pictures so for me pictures is very important like when we chat we always like send pictures what whatever we're doing or wherever we are so connect yeah, yeah. I mean, when you can't see the person for months or, or weeks, but that isn't too much of a long distance. But if you're going months without seeing the person, pictures make them feel a lot closer to you. Like they're there. They know what you're doing. They see that you're happy or you're healthy or you're just in a good mood um, and you're thinking about them. So, I mean, I, I definitely mm -hmm. think that's very important. I would always send her pictures whether I was you know, shopping or, or driving or maybe I just woke up or, you know, at the gym or something. I mean, it, you know, it doesn't matter, but. Yeah, it's, it, it's very important. That's and I think, think it, it really helped her uh, stay in love because I would just so often send her a booty picture and <laughs> then she would fall more in love with me, of course. So. <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> uh, so on a more serious note, I was going to say laughter, making the person laugh and smile whether it's uh i would send her a little clip or or youtube video of a, a funny cat or something like that but then she would laugh and it put her in a better mood and you know she would send me something funny and i would laugh and you know it, ma it makes the other person smile even though they're far away and they're thinking about you so the next is we're enjoying being alone so for me i'm enjoying being alone even if he's far from me even he's on the other side of the world so i'm trying to enjoy myself being alone or with my family because they're the only one who's there to make me happy while he's not there so it's very important that to enjoy yourself even he's not with you with your friends or with your family yeah i think it's it's important that you try to enjoy yourself and, and be happy and yeah. you know be okay with being alone and just know the person's there waiting for you because if you're not trying to enjoy yourself whatever you like doing then you're going to end up being negative and, and you're going to be down and none of that helps it's not going to help build the relationships you just want to try and be as positive as you can in, in my opinion yeah
just be happy and right. thankful that we're you've, still together. Yeah, and even with the time difference, I mean, I'd wake up and have to rush to work, but I would still make sure to, you know, send him some text messages or, or a little video or or try to FaceTime when I'm driving, um, mm-hmm. yeah. anything like that. And then when I get home from work, it'd be easier for us to talk, but then she was also, then she was working, so then you try to... You yeah, know. it's hard also for me for the time, but we still um, making sure that we have enough time and we still give each other's effort to make our relationship work. So, yeah, so I think uh, both of us would agree that the last thing is not to give up. I mean, y- y- you can't give up because you committed to a long distance relationship. You knew you were going to be apart for a little while. And unfortunately, with COVID, people are definitely farther apart for a lot longer than they expected. But mm-hmm. you can't give up because if you really care about the person, you're gr- going to regret that. I mean, you absolutely are. So I'm glad. I mean, we kept going through everything and it, it didn't matter. The last thing we wanted to do is, is separate each other because we'd always regret it. And you just got to know that any day things are going to open up and you'll get back to each other and just stay positive and be happy. Yeah, be happy. Don't give Enjoy up. Enjoy life even you're far from each other and communicate be honest communication yes and of course being honest because it's hard so that's all our um way (laughs) yeah um and like i said just go with the backup plan and flirt and send her booty pictures because so thank you for watching and if you're in a long distance relationship and you're trying to get through just Remember everything we said and keep talking to the person, keep giving them a heads up what's going on. Make sure you stay positive, be supportive for them. Don't give up, Um, you know, be honest and just try to be there for them when when you're not actually there by even sending pictures or a video and because sometimes they're going to have a bad day or you're going to have a bad day and then you know that person's there for you and they made the time for you. So yeah, you're right. It's all very important. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. You don't know. You forget. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.